before we walk down to the water, I'm going to throw a hook right in the water right there and see if something will hit. Brought me a chair, not a lawn chair, but just something to sit on. Well, so far James and I have been sitting out here on this little dock fishing for about an hour. Ain't done nothing but wet some hooks, but sure ain't caught nothing. Had a couple bites. It's been very pleasant sitting here on a pretty day like this. Today I'm at the, what they call the Barnesville City Pond, waterworks. Fishy fishy in the brook, come on fishy, bite my hook. We're having a pleasant morning sitting here on the dock. No fish yet, but we get one, we'll sure come back and show it to you. Like I told you, we're sitting here watching the bobber float around in the water and catching nothing. Maybe now would be a good time to tell one of my stories. Years ago, a friend of mine named Elmer, he's not with us anymore. We went fishing up at Lake Altoona. The name of the place, a little river landing, I believe it was. Anyway, he had a nice, shiny Ranger bass boat, brand new. We hadn't had that thing in the water two or three times. I had a tri-hole boat with a walk-through windshield, but I left my boat at home. We went in his bass boat. Went up to the little river landing. I backed him, I backed us down in the water. He was sitting in his boat. Backed him out in the water. Went and parked the truck and came back and he was arranging his pole and stuff getting things in the boat ready to go. It was tied to the dock. So let's walk up here to the store and get us something to drink and eat or whatever before we go out. Well, we went on up to the store and I got me a couple of beers and a couple of Cokes and some crackers, whatever. But he was kind of a fellow like liked to talk. He stayed in there and talked 15, 20 minutes, I know. Finally, we went back down to the dock couldn't see his boat nowhere. Said, Where's your boat, Elmer? I looked and it had sunk tied to the dock. He didn't put the plug in the in the boat. I'll reel mine in where it don't cross you over. 
It already did cross, didn't it? Want a biscuit? Okay, so yeah. Sure. Did you say thank you? Yeah. said so they caught a few bass out there. Okay. Yeah. Store bought biscuit or homemade? McDonald's. Huh? McDonald's. Well, that was nice of him. All right, where was we at? Oh yeah, his boat had sunk. And um, it didn't go to the bottom, but it was below the surface of the water. Those boats have flotation foam or something built into them. So you could still see the entire boat. It was just about six or eight inches underwater. Well, I got down in the boat and stood in it. Used his electric trolling motor to get it back up to the bank at the end of the dock there. By that time he was down there with his truck backing it up. Gas tank, motor, batteries, everything was underwater. I didn't know a trolling motor would work with a battery underwater, but it did. Got it as far as the edge of the boat trailer where we could use the winch to partially drag it up on the trailer. Pull forward enough to get the water to start running out of it. I don't know, it took us an hour to get that thing back on the trailer. And naturally that ended our fishing day. Had to go home and drain his gas tanks and get his boat ready to go again. Lesson learned, don't put your boat in the water without putting the drain plug in. It won't float very long, you're getting a bite, James. That's you. That's me. I don't even know where the damn pole is. Shouldn't be much of a fish, you can't throw the ball around you. You ain't a real fisherman. Definitely ain't redneck. You can't eat a biscuit with worm dirt on your hands. Fella gave me a ham biscuit. I'm eating it with worm dirt on my hands. Tastes pretty good. Just 
a little baby, but he's a fish. I need you to look at my tackle box and get me a pair of pliers. Well, it's getting on 1.30 in the afternoon. It's going to be a hot this afternoon. Got the other things to do. But at least I didn't get skunked today. I caught one little bass. James and I are going to call it a day. Appreciate you watching my video.